A despondent man wakes up to find that every other human has disappeared, leaving him with no choice but to learn how to live off the land and survive the desolate world. In a press conference, Armin tries to capture the whole event through his lens as a news cameraman, but he keeps missing the important parts when he misuses the record button, leading to his boss scolding him for his incompetence. However, the cameraman responds with an attitude even though he's at fault and in dire need of money. Later, Armin borrows cash from his colleague after his co-worker asks him to buy coffee. The man uses the borrowed money to go clubbing instead, meeting up with his friend and another woman despite outgrowing this part of his life. He dances with the woman and gets increasingly intoxicated, even after his friend jokingly admonishes him for going to such a place despite his age relative to the usual patrons of the club. Later, he brings the woman back to his crummy apartment and starts making out with her. However, his date gets offended after Armin refuses to share his toothbrush with her despite kissing her earlier. His attitude prompts the woman to hurriedly depart, leaving Armin disappointed and alone. The next day, Armin returns to his family's home to visit his father Micah and his grandmother Annie, who's been bedridden for years due to her old age. That night, a family doctor assesses Annie's condition and shows them how to use an aspirator to help the old woman breathe easier. Later that night, the man tries to send his mother a message regarding Annie's condition but decides not to, remembering how emotionally detached his mother is from her own family. Unable to get decent sleep, he cuddles beside his groaning grandmother because he can't stop worrying about the elderly woman. After a few minutes, his father notices him and taps his son awake. Micah asks his son if he can't sleep, and the man nods silently. During his stay with his father, the man sometimes smokes outside the house and sees the neighbor Lothar, a hunter, and his dog Cosmos. However, the hunter isn't too keen on Armin's familiarity and warns him to back off. The following morning, Armin and his father are watching television when Lilo, his father's partner, arrives with cooked food for the men. Her arrival disrupts the father and son moment, and she insists that Annie needs music to stimulate her brain. However, Armin comments on the loud music disrupting his grandmother's peaceful sleep. As the day passes, there is a noticeable awkwardness between the father and son since Armin doesn't hide his disapproval of Lilo's presence. One day during lunch, Armin makes a petty comment regarding the local council's work in their area, which insults Lilo who politely leaves. Seeing this exchange, the father points out that his lover has made him happy since his wife and Armin's mother, Renat, left them. Not wanting to hear such a conversation, the man walks out from the exchange, indicating that he never agreed with his father's illicit relationship or wanted to know about it. One afternoon during their long hours of observing and caring for the elderly woman, Micah suddenly calls his son over with a devastated look, clearly showing that something amiss had happened. Armin immediately walked to his grandmother's side to see that she had passed away. Having accepted the sad fate long ago, he and his father immediately prepare for Annie's burial proceedings, making Annie look presentable and picking out her clothes for the funeral. Then, Armin drives to his mother's house to inform her of the unfortunate news, but he finds her having a church choir practice session. Seeing how uncaring she is of the situation, he drives back with tears in his eyes, grieving and disappointed. Armin parks by the riverside, drinking beer as a boat hosting a lively party passes. The man falls asleep, knocked out from all the alcohol he's ingested. Later, he wakes up in his car, unaware that something is wrong with his surroundings. He goes to the nearest convenience store to buy a pack of cigarettes. However, he finds that the shopkeeper is nowhere to be found. So he takes some cigarettes and leaves his money at the counter. As he exits the store, he is puzzled by the motorcycles by the gasoline pumps with the engine still running despite the lack of any drivers nearby. Anxious, the man drives his car and stumbles upon more abandoned motorcycles on the bridge, and he investigates the vehicles. He tries to call his loved ones but can't reach anyone. Then he comes across the boat he saw last night, but sees that it's empty. Realizing something awful has happened, he drives back to his father's house in a panic. 
On his way, Armin sees that the road is devoid of human beings. Reaching the house, he calls out for his father, but after receiving no answer, he breaks in. As the cameraman enters the house, he searches for the inhabitants, but Micah is nowhere to be found, just like the others who have all disappeared. He runs back out to look for his father on the streets, but Armin's search is all in vain. He goes to Lothar's place, where he finds Cosmos the dog alone. The man calls the animal to his house since it's missing its owner, and thinking he can have it as his companion. The man and the dog return to Micah's house, and Armin watches over his grandmother's remains before he tries to contact someone else. During his sentimental thinking, he hears Cosmo's cries only to find the animal fatally injured by the door. It seems the animal attempted to get past the broken glass door but accidentally cut its stomach. He tries to put pressure on the wound but the dog ultimately perishes. In despair and fear, the only remaining man in the world chugs down alcohol, wanting to drown his sorrows. The next day, Armin washes himself up with the remaining water bottle in the house before setting the place on fire, deeming it a proper burial for his grandmother. He leaves the road to find an abandoned police car which he takes on a joyride. However, his journey is interrupted when he finds more vehicles blocking the tunnel. Then, the man notices the horses trapped in a farm truck, which Armin opens to free the animals. Months pass, and Armin is now staying in a farmhouse he built near a river. He now cares for various livestock and learned how to live independently, through fishing and farming. One afternoon, his goat escaped his pen, so the man scoured the forest to find it and bring the animal back to his farmhouse. Then he spends the night reading novels, when he hears his goat crying whom he realizes is about to give birth to one kid. The following morning, the survivalist tries to fix the water wheel, but his strength alone is insufficient, as the metal wheel tie snaps and throws him off balance. He falls into the icy water and gets soaked from head to toe. To prevent himself from getting sick, the man tries to treat himself by steam inhalation. However, he hears an alarm sound out and sees his newly born goat being taken away by a fox, prompting the man to run after it with a gun. When he is unable to retrieve the kid, he returns with a heavy heart to the mother's goat's side, apologizing for failing her. After hearing a sound from afar, Armin leaves his farmhouse to roam the vicinity on horseback, hoping to find the culprit stealing his livestock. While on his way back home, he gets bit on the leg by a dog and falls off his horse, knocking himself unconscious. Later, a person wanders, looking at an injured Armin and the lifeless dog in the darkness. The next day, the man wakes up on a riverbank with a thermal blanket covering him which confuses Armin. He wanders, disoriented and sick, as he returns home assessing the injury that he had attained. That night, the man spots a vehicle driving toward his house. He positions himself in a hiding spot armed with a weapon. However, he exposes himself with his constant cuffing. The trespasser is a woman armed with a shotgun. She aggressively warns him to stay back pointing a gun at him as she commands Armin to throw his weapon. Then she reveals that her dog just died before heading back to her vehicle. The following morning, Armin wakes up from the movement and noise in his backyard and sees that the woman still hasn't left. Cuffing, he watches the woman take one of his chickens and butchers it. Feeling weak and sick, he returns to his bed to rest. After a while, he wakes up again and finds a pot of chicken stew beside him. Hungry, Armin immediately gobbles it up as the woman, Kersey, appears and examines his bite mark. The woman comments on how bad it looks and nurses his wound. That night, Kersey returns to Armin's house and lays beside him, seeking comfort. However, she leaves soon after, unaware that the man has been awake this whole time. The next day, Armin tries to milk his goat when Kersey comes by to change the dressing on his wound. The two eat breakfast that the man had made from his garden. Meanwhile, the woman asks him why he chose to stay in one place when he can roam and explore. In response, Armin tells her this is where his family is from. During their meal, Kersey notices the man's intense gaze as he asks her if she's met other people. The woman tells him he's the only other person she's encountered. Then, Armin subtly touches her arm, but she takes her hand away and leaves. The following day, Kersey comes looking for him, says she's happy to see him and proceeds to make love to him. 
However, the woman is too concerned about pregnancy, so she warns Armin to be careful. Kersey starts living in Armin's house, and they do most things together while continuing their physical relationship. They also start taking DVDs from the video rental shop and spend time together having movie dates. The woman talks about her adventures, from owning a Japanese car to going to Syria with her dog. She also helps Armin out with the farming for their food supply. Kersey tells him she wants to travel to Berlin, which the man shuts down immediately justifying that the place is boring. As time passes, the difference between the couple becomes more apparent as Armin focuses on being self-sufficient, maintaining the house and feeding his animals. Meanwhile, Kersey is more adventurous and prefers to explore, hunting deer and boar, wanting to enjoy life in a carefree way. Additionally, Armin is insensitive because he doesn't appreciate her effort and opinions, subtly shutting down her words and actions. Eventually, the two have a small argument regarding watching a movie, when Armin notices something outside their door. He immediately calls for Kersey, who initially refuses to join him but eventually walks to the patio. He points out a large moose standing by the trees looking right at them, before walking back into the woods. Later that night, Armin wakes up to see that Kersey isn't beside him in bed. He immediately searches for his lover, who's outside holding a shotgun, explaining that she saw a boar. One lazy afternoon, the couple makes love at the riverbanks after a refreshing swim. Kersey becomes enraged when she realizes her lover didn't use any protection during their lovemaking. The man insensitively tells her he doesn't mind having kids, despite knowing full well that Kersey feels the opposite. Armin tries to argue, but Kersey is adamant about not wanting to raise a child in the desolate world. Later, Armin sees his lover leave in her car without a word, devastating him. In sorrow, he tears up as he drinks his wine. Then he watches a sad romantic film on a laptop when a large vehicle arrives in his front yard. Entering the van, the man sees Kersey holding a dog that she named Mowgli and mentions that the truck is now their new home. Later, the couple sits together as the woman tells her story about her past lover. Kersey tells him that her ex-lover of seven years had been hiding a son from her despite being together for nearly a decade, making her realize that she didn't know him after all. Having experienced such betrayal, the woman can't be in such a relationship and refuses to have a child. Then, Percy invites the man to join her in her quest to travel the world. But Armin asks her what he's supposed to do about his livestock, ending their conversation. Later that night, they come across a convenience store to get supplies. But when he's about to return to the vehicle, Armin decides to dance under the truck lights. He invites the lady to join him, which she does after he calls for her numerous times. They spend the night enjoying the world all to themselves. In the morning, Armin drives the van back to his house when one of the tires runs over metal spikes, and the vehicle is unable to move. The woman is still determined to leave the place and tells him to change the tire, which angers Armin into storming off. The next day, the man returns after replacing the truck's wheel and gives the keys to Kersey. He asks her if she'll come back, but she just tells him not to wait for her. Later, the woman kisses him and thanks him for letting her go. When she's about to leave, Armin decides he wants to be with her, tells her to give him five minutes to gather his necessities before rushing off to release his animals. However, the man hears the rumbling engine, and when he looks out onto the field, sees Kersey driving away, leaving him behind. Despite their genuine feelings for each other, he realizes that Kersey will always be too much of a free spirit to be with him forever. Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.